there's a lot going on in your life right now that um, we're very supportive of. But yeah. talk a little bit about it. We're very political. <laughs> ah, okay. So, um, you know, about, about two and a half months ago, I was approached. Uh, you know, over the years, I've been approached about running for office. Um, uh, you know, I'm conservative. Um, I'm from the Reagan era in the 70s in California where – uh, he was starting to to build his base. He, he was a Democrat and switched over to being a Republican. And um, I started following and subsequently uh, I was introducing him during his campaigns and, and fell in love with his his philosophy and the demeanor of the man and uh, and what he stood for. So over the years, I've been a foot soldier for conservatism. But but really, you know, and I say this when I took the field, uh, I didn't play for conservatives, liberals, independents. Mm-hmm. I played for all the people. Uh, and, um, you know, the two most important days in our life are the day we're born and the day we realized why. And, and as my career went on, I realized I had a voice and, and I could step off the field and help, you know, with charities and everything from health related to educational and, and help people to be able to use this wonderful life and skill. So, um, timing was never right. And then I was approached a couple of months ago, um, by people in the Republican party of Washington here. If I would consider running and, it, you know, it, it's a daunting task in, in uh, California yeah. um, and the Feinstein seat is up, obviously. And there hasn't been a Republican who is, uh, is one in 35 years. And um, I talked to some dear friends, politicos, and they said, well, good luck. God bless. <laughs> I said, well, thank, thank you for your support. <laughs> but I started exploratory committee and and uh, started looking at uh, did i have a pathway to run could i could i elicit the base that's been beaten down um by the progressive left you know over these last couple of decades and and get people to stand up again and and talk about ask them what matters to them instead of being told you're going to do this and you're going to do that and, and take it and um and i was i, I was taking it you know, I wasn't standing up and I have this voice. I woke up one morning about six, seven weeks ago and I tapped my wife on the shoulder and said, honey, I think it's time. Let's run for the Senate. Hmm. And she looked at me and she turned over and then she looked back and she said, aren't you a little young for that? And I said, <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for keeping me young. But, um, you know, there was only one voice here in California and, 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 we're getting close to probably making an announcement in the next few weeks. And, and, if, and if I do, I'll be running for all the people. I'll be running for quality of life and the issues that matter. And uh, I thank you for asking because, um, mm-hmm. you know, that life is all about uh, two voices, uh, people getting back to an honest discourse and, and making this country and, and for me, California back to where we well, remember 70s. It was the heartbeat of America. I mean, people came here to fulfill their dreams and everybody wanted to come here. And, and it's sad. It's just not that way now. So thanks for asking and yeah. probably make an announcement in a few weeks and see if we might be able to make a difference. Well, in my opinion, that state needs all the help that it can get. And, you know, someone with your unbelievable values and morals. And I think that's what a little bit is lacking in California. I think it's one of the most beautiful states ever. And yeah. uh, hopefully... Um, you can bring some more light to it. But I appreciate all that you do. Um, I respect you a lot, Steve, and uh, looking forward to talking to you again. But thanks for your time, man. All right. Let's, let's talk in the near future. You guys are the best. To Thank good you. health, Steve. Take care.